I enjoy being a forensic psychologist in prison because of the variation of my role and pieces of work that I'm involved in. I get to promote helpful changes that contribute to making it a safer and more rehabilitative environment. When I was growing up I found myself really interested in psychology and the differences in people's behaviour and how they made decisions. It's important for psychologists and youth custody staff to keep in mind that young people's brains are still developing until around age 25 and really where they're more similar to children than adults. So I try and establish trust and rapport bit by bit to understand their behaviours a bit more clearly and just build their confidence. So pointing out positives that they've used new skills or taken opportunities to learn something new or achieve their goals, they can recognise reward in doing something differently that way. Try and support them by working through barriers and challenges they're facing and try and help them feel empowered to make better decisions for themselves rather than doing things that other people might expect of them or falling into old habits. Currently, my role is a registered forensic psychologist in the youth custody estate. It involves completing risk assessments and psychology formulations for young adults in the prison. And I'm involved in some areas of staff training for working effectively in teams and involved in some supervision for staff who are delivering a conflict resolution program. And I also provide some consultancy to colleagues across the prison uh, to help promote safety and violence reduction, which all contributes towards reducing reoffending. I'd also say the most inspiring part of my role are my colleagues um, and how much passion and resilience they bring to work every day. If you're thinking of starting a career in forensic psychology, you need to be resilient and have the belief that you can overcome barriers and roll with the challenges that come with working in a prison. Be reflective and see different perspectives to help make decisions whilst keeping like, psychological principles as the foundation. I would say be persistent and keep looking for opportunities to get involved in roles that will help you develop skills for assessments, interventions, working in teams um, and clinical skills for working with different prisoner populations and just having passion for supporting people to reach their goals, be that staff or prisoners.